I am Dr. Kalaiselvi Xavier, Professor in Triblum College of Nurse. The objectives of the class explain the breathing process, mention about brain and oxygen, enumerate the respiratory emergencies, what are the first aid, explain the respiratory distress, and what is the role of the nurse and complication. What is the breathing process? Air into the nose and mouth passes through pharynx. It will be traveled through the trachea, lungs, blood, delivery to the brain, organs, muscles. It is anatomy and physiology of the respiratory system. Where the brain and oxygen? Brain is very sensitive to oxygen starvation. Where the brain cell starts to die in 4 to 6 minutes without oxygen. What is the time frame for 0 minutes breathing stops, heart will soon stop beating. So 4 to 6 minutes brain damage possible, 6 to 10 minutes brain damage likely over, 10 minutes irreversible brain damage certain could not be happen. What is breathing? Brain controls breathing. It will adjust the rate and the depth of breath based on oxygen and carbon dioxide levels. It also requires respiratory, circulatory, nervous and musculoskeletal system to work together. Now we will see what is respiratory distress. It is the most common type of breathing emergency injury, illness, excitement, anxiety. What are the signs and symptoms? Obvious cannot catch their breath or uh, gasp for air grunting, wheezing, gurgling, uh, skrill, uh, sounds, breaths unnecessarily fast, slow, deep or shallow, slow less than 8 breaths per minute. What is the signs and symptoms of respiratory distress? The skin unusually moist and flushed pale. SN or blue is cyanosis can see, uh, symptoms dizzy, lighted, light-headed, painful, tingling in lips, hands or feet. What are the other specific types of respiratory distress? Asthma, emphysema, hyperventilation and ana anaphylaxis. What are the care for respiratory distress? Initial assessment, uh, summons emergencies. Helps the victim rest comfortably. We have to uh, do the physical examination properly. Sample the history immediately. Reverses the victim. Assist with the medications. Monitor vital signs. Then what is respiratory arrest? Breathing stops, illness, injury, obstructed airway. Where the heart will stop beating, organs will begin to fail. Then what is rescue breathing? Breathing air into the persons to supply him or her with the oxygen needed to survive. What are the steps to determine the loss of consciousness? Unresponsive. We have, we have to open the airway and look, listen, feel for breathing. No breathing. Give two slow breaths. Check for pulse. Look for severe. Then rescue breathing. Keep airway open. One breath every five seconds. Every minute recheck. When to stop rescue breathing? Victim breaths on own victim has no pulse. CPR someone with more training than you arrives. You are too exhausted to continue. The scene becomes unsafe. What are the special consideration? Air in stomach vomiting, mouth to nose breathing, mouth to stoma breathing, victims with the uh, dentures, suspected spinal injury. Where the infants and children's faster breath rate and pulse rate than adults. So rescue breaths are faster, less air in each breath, head tilt is less cover mouth, mouth and nose infants. So one breath every three seconds. The children's one breath every five seconds. 
most common cause of respiratory emergency airway obstruction most common cause of respiratory emergency the two causes anatomical or mechanical partial or complete partial airway obstruction can still move some air in and out of the lungs the person can still cough and or speak the person may clutch throat universal sign encourage them to keep coughing and summon emergency if it is if it is continuous then complete airway obstruction unable to speak cough cry or breath uh, call emergency immediately helmic uh, helmic maneuver or abdominal thrust until the obstruction is clear or they become unconscious if unconscious choking adult or child lay the person down open the airway by lifting the jaw up finger sweep open the airway head tilt and chin lift give two slow breaths if air does not go in reposition retilt the head if air still does not go in give up to five abdominal thrust or uh, chest thrust do a finger sweep give two slow breaths reposition if necessary repeat until object is chest thrust middle of the sternum person is too large or they are pregnant compress only 1 and up to 2 inches 5 quick thrusts Con- if the patient is conscious choking infant call emergency number alternate five back blows and five chest thrust until the object comes out the role of the nurse first aid sometimes referred to as emergency aid is the first skilled assistant given to the victim on the occurrence of the accident or sudden illness in order to preserve life prevent further injury and relieve suffering until a medical persons reached the complication only by improving knowledge of first aid procedures can an increase in the efficiency of the emergency measures to attained as will be proven in the pis paper uh, in sin- intensive schooling is necessary not only for the layman and the ambulance order lies but uh, for doctors who are to be employed in rescue work in particular the present criteria one year clinical activity and competency are by no means foundations thank you this is all the reference